Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here uh, with part four of the series of how to host a dedicated Rust server with mods and plugins uh, on your computer. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, I recommend checking those out in the links in the descriptions and the annotations that you'll see. Um, because if you start watching now, you may be lost. So to start this one off, it is going to be how to set up your server.cfg file and to run a very useful admin mod on the side while you're playing, which is really, really fun and useful and makes the game a lot easier for you and your fellow players since, you know, you're hosting, you might as well be, be the admin and show you how to log in as admin and everything. It's going to be awesome. So, start off, um, in your Oxide server batch file, the one we saw, let's just give you a little brief look of what it looked like again. Um, it gave you... Or it set a couple of the things for the server itself. It had the server host name to make a cool, awesome server. And it had the max players. And those are the two things that it had in there that had effect on your server um, as for people joining and people seeing it. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a server file that allows a lot of other different types of things, as in like daytime, you know, how fast you want it to cycle through night, um, lots of other things like enabling god mode, grass, a ton of other things which that Rust has to offer in the console, which we saw how we logged in through NetConnect a couple videos ago. Um, and this server file is very, very recommended. Um, and back to this, I, I deleted it, it shows that the CFG, it's saying that the location for this file that we're going to be creating is in save slash server CFG, which would be right here. Save, and then we're going to put the file right here. Therefore, this batch file, which we're using primarily for everything, will recognize it, this server file, which we're creating, and it'll implement all of the commands we're going to be putting in there. Now, to see all the commands, what you want to do is just go to Google and type in uh, Rust server commands, and bang, you got your Rust Archon server commands. Now, um, if you don't know what Archon is, it's basically you and your admin everything. To initialize this, some people don't know how to do it, but the easiest way to do that is literally just setting a password. And so the first thing you want to do in a server file, you can open it up in Notepad or open it up in Sublime Text, but your server file is going to look like this. Right here. So, kind of put those side by side so you can see what you want to add or not. Um, your server file what you don't have to have is a host name because of the batch file already had that. Now, that was what the name would be. If you want to change it up, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but the first thing you want to put is your password. So, just literally just copying this and then your password, put it in quotes. So, this is what you'll type. I'll show you how in a bit later in the video of how to log in as an admin. But this is going to be your admin password. You could share this with other people so they can log in as admins, uh, things like that. Now, a couple of the basic things I have in this server file, which I actually put the link for this specific server file uh, in the description if you want to download it, if you don't want to mess with anything or risk work, you know, messing up anything. Uh, this is a really fun server file, which I made it to where uh, this, the environment time is 12 o'clock p.m., so noon. Uh, day length is, these are in minutes, so it's almost a billion minutes. Uh, censored nudity, just in case you don't want to see dicks running around. Uh, it's PvP, so you can you can kill people. Instant crafting, um, timeout. So these are minutes as well. So if somebody's just standing there um, for 30 minutes solid, it'll just kick them out to you know leave more room for other people if they want to play. Uh, max players, you can put this one. You don't have to have this one either since we have that in the batch file. Uh, airdrop minimum players one. So just in case you're playing by yourself and nobody's joined your server yet, you'll still get random airdrops. Um, and truth enforce is just basically the server doing its best guess to see if somebody's hacking. It'll just kick you. And it won't ban you, it'll just kick you out of the match. And so you just come back in and you're good to go. You can also add a ton more things. Uh, you can pick and choose what you want to add. These are a big list of commands. Again, on the Rust server command Wikipedia. Um, but as of right now, this is all we're going to use right here. So uh, save the file, close it. What we're going to do is copy and put it right here so when we go back to legacy and we start up oxide server it's going to detect right here right if you see it if it's going quick legacy save rust running save slash server save slash server that's it so once this loads and initializes and tons of text flies down servers initialized you saw it means you can go into it so what i'm going to show you is 
So we play a game, go into history if you've seen it, and join your own server that you made. If not, F1, net connect to your server, and you're good. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to log in as an admin. If you're not set that Archon password in your CFG file, then you won't be able to do this. You'll see the error. But if you did, it's very easy to log in as an admin. Hit F1 to your console, rcon.login space your password no quotes so right now our password has changed this password because we did not change it enter logged in as admin and there you go now once you're logged in as admin you can use this next thing which is called rusty now i put the link for it in the description to download it it's a server admin helping tool it's really really awesome uh once you get that it's it'll be in this folder once you download it now what you do with rusty is i just copy paste it into this file right here to where it's in your legacy folder double click it rusty I always run things like this as administrator double click it and once it loads you'll see it right here now to in order to use rusty properly you need to go into the settings and configure it to your server so a deep configure name configuration name you should put test or whatever you want to put right there for the IP again it's your computer specific IP Mine, 192.168.1.135. Yours may just have these three different, most likely. Port is going to be the port for the game, which is always 28015. Query port, you don't have to do anything about that, but your Archon password, that's why you had to set it up in the server.cfg file. Rusty won't work unless you have a password set. So, change this password. Save the password. you got to save the configuration yes there and connect we are connected and you see your server kind of did a little bit of things to where it's like oh there we go connected now you are an admin and you have a ton of control now it's awesome that you could do with the admin powers uh, that you have don't abuse them because you'll make for the game not be that fun if you do that um, but let's go over here type tab and you, if you have it in windowed mode it makes it a lot easier if you want to if you're in full screen mode and you want to get out of it uh, without closing the game just hold alt and press enter it'll bring you to window mode um, so what you could do in here is a cool thing admins can do is do unlimited airdrops as many times as you want as you can see you hear it boom airdrop and it does multiple planes at the same time too so if you just do if you rapid spam airdrop you'll get a lot of planes another cool thing admin can do is see what players are in there kick and ban them almost immediately see if their pings are real high lagging up your server kick them see if they can redo their stuff you can give items to them straight from this command one to as many as you want um, you can also teleport people which makes it a lot easier I can teleport myself to a target player or I can target myself to a location let's say factory rat town just click that and then hit teleport boom I am at Factory Rad Town. Okay, so that's uh, using Rusty right there. Yeah, that's how you do your server. That's how you use Rusty. Uh, if you want, download them in the links right down there. You'll get them, all the files prepped for you. You can adjust it accordingly uh, by going to that website, and boom, you are good to go. So, as of right now, recapping it all, we have successfully ran our own server. We're hosting it real time. Uh, we have mods installed. You are logged in as an admin, and you are using Rusty, and you know how to do that, and you know how to connect to it. And if you want other people to connect to it, this is where the next video is going to come into play. Um, and I'll tell you more about that in the next video, uh, because there's a good chance that you may or may not be able to have people connect to your server easily. So, next video I'll show you how to do that, but I hope this explained a lot. If you got any questions... Uh, let me know, but and, and go ahead and click the top video to the left to see the previous video. Uh, go ahead and click the top right video to see the one next video that we'll be doing. Um, click the subscribe button; it really helps out right in the bottom middle. And other than that, thank you guys, and catch you next time.